To make the marbled vase, you need a vase. We chose a white vase because we really wanted our colors to pop. Then we've got a nice collection of nail polishes and a bunch of different colors. Nail polish is essentially enamel paint, and you have to have enamel paint to work and create the magic of sumunagashi. Um, we've got a bunch of colors, including metallic gold, which creates a really nice look. We've also got some craft sticks, so we can do a test run first. And we've got some toothpicks, so we can do some swirling. So we're going to do a test first, so we can show you what it is that the sumunugashi is all about. This is just a tub of water. This is a throwaway Tupperware container. And there's nothing in the water. Um, it's just pure water, regular tap water. And we've got our nail polishes. And we went ahead and unscrewed the lids because you want to work very quickly when you're doing this. So I'm going to start by quickly pouring in little circles like this right in the middle, one after the other. And we chose, for this test, we're going to do just these three colors and see how we like it. And now we're going to do our gold quickly. And the reason why you want to work quickly is because the paint on the surface of this water can dry quickly and you don't want that. You want it to be wet. So I'm using my toothpick to make a swirl very quickly. And then I'm going to dip straight in and come straight out. I'm going to try it again with another craft stick just to see if I can get a little more color. And I'm going to drag through it this time to see if I can get a little more color on here. That did a little bit. And you get the sumunugashi effect. So I'm going to start by dumping some paint right here in the middle of my tub. And I'm going to work really fast because we don't want the paints to dry on the surface of the water. Do my gold next, like that. And then I'm going to quickly do a little bit of swirling with my toothpick like that to get a little bit of that swirl effect. And then I'm going to take my vase and drop it straight down in and pull it straight back out like that. And it's like magic. It creates such a cool effect. We love doing this kind of project. And now what you can do is just set your vase straight down on a surface. It'll dry um, just fine. If you want, you can turn it upside down. The paint won't run because it's enamel paint. The water might run, but the paint won't. And you can just let it dry and you've got a beautiful sumunugashi marbled vase. Mm -hmm.